Okay, it's a cold, blustery Saturday, and it's about to snow. And I figured I might go ahead and. Is this thing zoomed in? Hang on. Yes, it is. Anyway, uh, so I figured it's time for the garage door. That's a cheap Craftsman, uh, but everything seems to fit that. Um, from the mounting brackets to where the rail mounts. The gear seems to be the same size, same number of teeth. This is a half horse compared to the one third horse I got up there, but I figure extra power can't hurt, right? Uh, so we got a quick meal call from, ta-da, oh, silly light, Wyatt One Able. Uh, it's a great guy, I love this channel. Um, Sorry it's taken so long to do this, uh, but um, I'm sure you don't care, but um, it came just before my back went out and then got lost until this, like, two days ago. So, um, but I'll, I'll insert a little clip here. I'm doing a walk around because one of my subscribers asked for a look at the truck. Um, so I thought I'd come out here. It's, it's cold, but it's fairly nice out. Uh, this truck's, I mean, it works nice. It's, it drives actually pretty nice. Uh, but it rusts really bad. The door skins are falling off. Uh, the uh, inner fender wheels are are uh, really bad. The interior is, you know, functional, but the dashboards. So uh, let's let's get this on the board. <laughs> let's get this on the cabinet. See, I do it every time. And there you are, up in the cabinet. It's a cool sticker. Love that sticker. Bunch of cool stickers, bunch of cool guys. God, I miss you guys. I can't, it's hard for me to keep up with the job and the back and everything, but. I'm getting caught up. I'm getting caught up. Some of you have probably seen me comment. So I'm getting there, little by little. So, uh, yeah, Matt, MBYR. 31. Probably not going to be too happy that I'm doing this because I told them <laughs> I could use the help and I could. Um, the problem is, is I'm not sure I'm actually going to do it today. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm still going back and forth. I'm not quite sure if my back is up for it. Uh, so everything you see here is what comes with the garage door opener. So you got a cable and a chain bag of miscellaneous parts. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what these are for. Oh, they hold the railing up, I guess. Uh, the rail. It comes with this thing, which I wouldn't use on a bed. It's mostly plastic. Look at this arm. This whole mechanism is just plastic. Yeah, you know, I don't need that. Um, garage door openers for the car. I know one's for the light, one's for the garage. I'm not sure what the other one's for. Um, Big button for the next to the door. Look at this. That's it. That's the entire thing right there. <laughs> so, uh, brackets for the sensors, wire, more sensors. I'm just going to use the ones I got mounted there in uh, another piece of the railing. I'm not sure. Um, and then that piece that hooks the rail to the. Uh, to the or to the door. Um, I'm not really, not really clear what these are. I guess when I read the instructions, yes, I'll read the main, the instructions. Uh, we'll see. This does come with the option to connect it to Wi-Fi. I'm sorry. I want nothing in my house connected to the internet. Sorry, <laughs> that just isn't gonna happen. I don't need my garage door to open with my cell phone. That's why I have these. They're simple, they're elegant, they work well, you put them on your visor. I don't have to worry about whipping out my phone and locking it and hoping nobody hacks it. Nah. Uh, luckily, you have to buy an external piece and plug it in, I think somewhere in here, uh, for it to have wi uh, to connect to Wi-Fi and uh, get on the internet. Uh, I will not be purchasing that part. Uh, so, uh, for those who have been asking, uh, my wife is doing good. My back is 
kind of better. I mean, it's, that's kind of why I'm stalling on putting this in. Um, I, it still lets me know every once in a while when I move the wrong way, so that tells me it's not nearly ready uh, for me to do anything major. Uh, these uh, skids, uh, I think they're going to do okay. Uh, I've I've raised and lowered it a few times like I would if I were plowing just to, you know, kind of see. And um, they're holding firm and not moving. And I, just, I think it'll work. I think it'll work. Um, but, you know, thanks to everybody for the uh, sh the uh, kind words uh, and uh, thoughts about my back. Uh, it is what it is, right? Uh, I'll, get, I'll get past it. Uh, luckily, the job I'm at uh, still intends to make me an offer, and the two weeks I was gone didn't, even though that really put them in a bind, um, they were happy to see me back and still want to hire me, so I think that's good news, huh? Uh, the only other thing came out, and there was a puddle of brake fluid under my bike, right where the caliper is. So I'm guessing the piston, the seal around the piston gave way, and so now I got nothing. So my dilemma is, do I leave it? Because I just might. I don't use the front brake, really. Uh, but I did buy this fancy brake line. So I might fix it just for that reason, because the new seal is cheap enough. And, I don't know. We'll see. But, short of that, I'm desperately wanting winter to be over and for me to move on. But I think for now that's going to be it. I'm going to finish this cup of coffee, switch to beer, and then decide after a beer or two if I want to do this garage door opener. <laughs> However, if I do, I will let you know. And, uh, will beer. Uh, so this is the mower deck for my Gilson, like the one you were showing me that you had. And yeah, this, I'm not looking forward to this. These, these, um, uh, belts need to come be replaced. They're worn down and, and uh, frayed in a couple spots. But <clears throat> as far as I can tell, if I can zoom out far enough here to do this, this has to come off and that has to come off in order to get that off. This pulley has to come off too, but that should be easy. But yeah, this whole assembly has to come off. And I'm guessing it's not easy, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay, later. So I went to go start the tractor to move it. Put my wife's car in here. Uh, there was another starter. Anybody have any ideas why this thing keeps stripping out? These plastic gears keep stripping out on that motor? I don't know. I don't want to keep spending money on another starter if it's just going to do the same thing. <sighs> okay, so I guess I decided to put it in after all. But uh, it really wasn't bad and only took me a few minutes. I used, kept everything else. I just replaced that and uh, put that on the door. I did uh, did manage to get the uh, tractor moved and uh, my wife's car in the garage, and uh, I couldn't start it with the starter, obviously, so I used rope. Believe it or not, worked really well. Just getting it around the drive shaft is uh, uh, so uh, the flywheel has uh, the spot for the rope, right? And uh, that works well. You just it's got a little notch. You can wrap the rope around it and give it a yank. Fine. But there's a drive shaft that comes off it, so you have to get, you know, you have to kind of wind it a little goofy. But anyway, it worked. It got it started, and uh, it's the only way I was going to get that back there and my wife's car in here. But I did get another mill, something in the mail. Yeah, that's right. You got to love Harbor Freight, right? So, let's see if I can do that. Yeah, that's right, tap and die set. I've got uh, a few uh, taps and a couple small, you know, a couple of dies. Uh, but I've been wanting a whole set uh, for a long time. And um, so I picked this. Uh, 
60 piece tap and die set and this uh, touch up gun uh, for some project I'm doing that I won't get into right now uh, for under 60 bucks so I figured out yeah, you know why not uh, it does come with the regulator and uh, you know, so but it's a cheap cheap one but that's fine for what I'm gonna use it for it's fine you know if I were obviously if I were painting anything major or anything important this would probably not be the brand to get I've seen some guys on YouTube do some really good stuff with the Central Pneumatics uh, spray gun, but I think that speaks more to their talent than anything else. Um, so the other thing is this, the set comes with these gauges so you can figure out what your thread pitch is. Thread size and thread pitch, I guess. So I like that, so that'll come in handy. And uh, for whatever reason, they throw this little, one little screwdriver in here. I suppose uh, for that. Oops, where is it for that screw right there? Yeah, anyway, so now <clears throat> from here I can just buy individual sizes that are bigger than I need. Um, or, I'm sorry, bigger than what came with this kit and if I need them. <clears throat> Generally, the 60-piece the 60, the 60 piece kit is basically everything, um, all your basic sizes. So, like, all the metric sizes I'll ever need for that, my bike and... All the standard sizes I'll probably ever need for the tractor, but there are a few bolts on uh, nuts on the tractor that are bigger than what comes in the kit, so I might have to get those, but we'll see, um, because I'm going to go through and clean out some of the bolts and the threads, um, which was something I was going to do, and um, I just got in a hurry, so I never did, So, but that's a summer project, so anyway. That's uh, that's where we're at. Later, guys.